Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Uh, today's another story mission. We're going to be taking on another one of the Colonel Sloan's important facilities. I have Cletus and Swordfish with me as always. Hello. Hello. What the fuck is... That's a uh, Zom mu zombie yak. What yeah. the... Mutated <laughs> um, bull... What, what, I don't even remember what they were called. You're it's off a to a good start. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> Here we are. Okay, Doc. Tell me about the silo. That's Hauser Labs, the heart of the Blood Dragon research, and the nursery where we're breeding the dragons. Nursery? Sloan. Tell me, Doc, how'd you end up with that lunatic? After the U.S. stopped the Soviet invasion by nuking Canada, we had no home left. Sloan offered us that, and a purpose. We didn't know he'd gone rogue. All right, Doc. But it's nap time for the nursery. Objective, penetrate Hauser Labs. All right, now uh, since the last uh, secondary mission, we've got a couple weapon upgrades. Uh, one in particular, we got the special ammo type for the Phasertron, which is probably unsurprisingly uh, laser rounds. Ah, of Sweet. course. Lasers. They are a lot better than the standard bullets. Like is one or like two shots to the body will kill the guy. Way to die on a job, dude. Is this the exact same sound as uh, Dick Shitter? <laughs> as which? Yeah, the, uh, the plasma rifle. Uh, you're right. It does sound like that, but no, I, I don't think it's the same sound effect. But have I mean, we talked about who the voice actor for this guy yet? Uh, we haven't. I don't think. Who is it? I keep trying to place him. <laughs> um. Okay, hold on a sec. Welcome to the silo of the future, where all your stronghold needs will come true. I'm in, Doc. But a nursery, this place sure is full of the science. It's not just a nursery. It's where Sloane's building the brain cages to control the dragons. They won't attack as cyber soldiers so long as they wear the brain cages. Not on my watch. Destroy the prototype erector rooms, Rex. And if you see any dragons with brain cages, shoot the aggression inhibitor unit on the back of their skull. They'll revert to their normal aggressive behavior and attack the cyber soldiers. Otherwise, they won't respond to cyber hearts or fire. Destroy the brain cage prototypes. All right, um, so the voice actor, it's actually kind of a big deal. So it's Michael Bain. Um, okay. He's the guy who played um, the dude from Terminator, the human dude from the future. And I feel mm. kind of bad not remembering his name. <laughs> I don't even remember any of them. So. I haven't watched John, that movie in so long. John. Anyway, that guy. Um... And uh, he was also in Alien. He uh, was the one Marine who lived, I think. Or maybe that was Aliens. I don't know, he's probably from a lot of things. Is this going to be your first uh, Unleashing the Dragon? Unleashing the dragon by shooting the inhibitor. Oh no no! Shooting the brain cage oh. aggression inhibitor. Yeah, the brain yeah. cages are kind of cool. You will occasionally see guys uh, with them. So you see here, he will still attack oh. us, but he will not attack cyber soldiers. Uh, that's cool. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> um, you won't see them very often in the wild with brain cages, but occasionally near garrisons, there will be a blood dragon with a, a brain cage on, and you can you have to take it off before you can get him to help you out. Destroy the next brain cage prototype. Now, we also got a uh, attachment for the shotgun. I don't know if you noticed uh, quad barrels. So it's actually two different attachments. Uh, there's a double barrel and then a quad barrel. Hmm. I just skipped right to the four barrels, because why not? Yeah. Yeah. This game's all about going big. Yeah. I call shot. The, uh, the only problem is that one <laughs> barrel is often enough to kill the regular soldiers. And by using four, you're essentially 
shooting four times when you don't need to. Oh, you're, was you're wasting three extra yeah. ammo. It's a little wasteful, but it's awesome. And it's really nice if you're going up against heavies. That's not how regular shotguns work, though, right? Like a double barrel doesn't shoot both at once. Uh, no. <laughs> Generally not, anyway. That's Although, weird that. Yeah. Hmm? I mean, I think you can shoot both barrels at once, but. I mean, this is already like a semi automatic shotgun. I don't know how much use it would be by just making it, you know, more semi auto. Mm -hmm. But shooting four at once, on the other hand. There you go. Spooky doors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Rex. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking care to um, take out the alarms because they will call for reinforcements in this area, and that's just annoying. <laughs> Did I hear him say something like the alarm? Or... Yeah, he went for it and then realized it was broken. Destroy the last brain cage prototype. That's Kablamo. Yeah, I actually got the brain cage with that too. Thanks. That's pretty sweet. Actually, no, speaking of aliens, we were sort of just talking about it. Uh, the mm -hmm. eggs, the dragon eggs, are made to look like the eggs from the alien movies. Mm. You can see one right there. I should I rewatch the last... that. Yeah, I don't know the last time I saw it. Yeah, I honestly hadn't seen them until. What, like a few months ago when I watched them all. Except Prometheus, I haven't seen that yet. All of them in a row? Uh, well, I mean, I'd watch one and then the next weekend I'd watch another. They're good. I kind of like them. Prometheus is connected to them? Prometheus is a prequel. Okay. Yeah, although, Which like I said, I haven't seen it yet. That's the one I that was made, like, it. two years ago. Uh, I didn't see that one. It was a cool movie. I didn't know it had anything to do with Alien. Oh, well, we can watch it. Tonight. Anyway. Um yeah, last brain cage. Objective complete. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. All personnel stop intruder from reaching the silo door that protects the vulnerable nursery. HUD. Set an objective. Affirmative. Objective. Open silo door. Yeah, they they really <laughs> love the uh the AIs that are too helpful. <laughs> yeah. Even when they're not supposed to be. Objective complete. Jump down to the sub level. Are you kidding me? You are not the punchline. You are a killing machine. Jump. Why the hell is this thing so slow? I like that little uh, back and forth there. Although it's kind of weird that she's telling you to jump when you you physically cannot jump yet. Yeah. He was open minded. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, they're so good. Yeah. So Alert. many one liners. Secure flamethrower and destroy blood dragon egg clutches. Alert. Sub basement breached. Stop the intruder before he can enter the nursery and turn the emergency wall mounted flamethrowers against the egg clutches. All personnel. Please use non-lethal rounds to avoid damaging the egg clutches. All personnel, please use full lethal sanction to stop the intruder. Time to break some eggs. Attention, wall-mounted flamethrowers are to be used only in cases of emergency by sanctioned personnel. If you're uncertain if it's an emergency, then it's probably not. Have a nice day. I like that you can mark them while you're scoping with that. Yeah, it's actually funny. A bunch of those shots, I missed who I was shooting at, but because they were all in like in a big line, I managed to hit someone. <laughs> Exploding sniper. So you've destroyed all the dragon hats. Now you're gonna destroy some eggs. Dragon hats. Oh, right. <laughs> Brain cages. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, so we are going to uh, kill a bunch of eggs, and just like that lady said, uh, we're going to use the flamethrower. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm not sure. They did tell you not to. Job, so. I think you can use explosives as well, but like you would need more explosives than you can reliably carry. So the flamethrower is just a better option. Excellent. I like that. <laughs> Excellent. Extra crispy. Should have seen that one coming. Oh yeah, he's got a lot more. 
warning. He calls yeah, someone a dick shitter. I know, that was the second time in this video alone. Yeah. Yep. He has got a serious potty mouth. That means that they've got dicks in their ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm truly but they're going out of their asses, not in. Yeah, but like, to get in there in the first place, you kind of have to... Can we not add theory craft They ate some. them. <laughs> they ate them, obviously. Frenzy, you yeah. asked us to be in this I, video. I did. So, uh, for one thing, God I should mention this. Fire doesn't hurt blood dragons. So I just shot at Makes one of them sense. with the flamethrower. Completely useless. Probably pissed it off a little. Yeah, probably did that. These guys are also wearing brain cages. Now, since there's no uh, soldiers down here, it doesn't really do all that much. Except uh, you cannot use cyber hearts to um, distract them, which gets kind of useful when you're trying to keep them in one area away from you. Mm -hmm. hmm. Will they attack each other when you uh, yes, when you take the, the brain cages up? No, I don't. I don't think. I don't think they ever attack each other for any reason. I don't think. But uh, uh, it doesn't count unless if you miss an egg. Yeah. You have to hit all of them. Anyone want their eggs scrambled? Oh god. Yeah, this uh this little ah. cross pathway here in the middle is a lifesaver. If you could only run around the outside, the dragons would never leave you alone. Well, is there only two, or did the more spawn if you kill them? No, there are only two. So you could take the time to kill them. But I mean, it takes a fair bit to kill the blood dragons. Yeah. Just probably not worth it. I think I missed an egg there. Lots of guns. Are these all flamethrowers? Yeah, they're all flamethrowers. <laughs> that just seems like... A bad move. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see here, I'm trying to... Blood dragons are also supposed to be um, attracted to fire. So I was trying to use the Molotoxes. But um, I don't know if they're as effective as Cyber Hearts. Mm -hmm. They don't seem to be doing anything. But it could be it's just too far away. You're going to have to make a run for it. Uh, all I need is a couple seconds, so here we go. The other one. Oh, never mind. They both have their brain. Bright eggs coming up. Objective: reach the elevator and escape. Alert: all egg clutches destroyed. Fire suppression systems have caught fire. Beginning evacuation. How slow is this goddamn elevator? What's the point? Dramatic tension. Alert. Inbound blood dragon. It's one of the mothers. She is angry you took a flamethrower to her nest. You now have no time left to reach minimum safe distance. Huh. That seemed kind of familiar to you. Yeah, this uh, this blood dragon's pretty understandably pissed off. It's worth noting I that guess. it's a... Uh, it's a new blood dragon. This one spawned in specially to come after us. The other two kind of forgot. I also really love the uh, the two different AIs whenever they pop up, the male and the female AIs. Yeah. I just like the two distinct personalities. Have a pleasant day. So the other two didn't follow you, so it's just this one. No, I don't know if they can or not, but... Um, or if they just got distracted because I was too far away. Or they're just coded to run around a circle and follow you. Yeah, maybe. No shit. <laughs> so this is actually kind of a cool section. It's like an on-rails turret section. Oh, cool. But we're going up an elevator and everything is going to be exploding while we do it. It's pretty great. Mm -hmm. yeah, I believe it. It looks like fun. 
I always hated playing these on rail things on like a hard mode because I don't know. I don't think I've seen you die in this game. You just revert to save. Um, a checkpoint. Yeah, like it, it would revert you to a checkpoint. But I'm playing on normal, so doing it without dying is, you know, fine. Except for that thing with the the tigers and the bow and arrow last time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They probably wouldn't make that that much more difficult on higher level. Um, the tigers would probably require a couple extra hits, one or two maybe. Probably do a little more damage too. Yeah, yeah, probably true. Wait, one of the things. What if I... instead of oh, sorry? getting in, what if you just got out of the vehicle and like sat behind it so nothing could get you? Uh, the elevator wouldn't move. Rex, from the project. The amphibian shock squid hybrid attack titan. Destroy the bridge exit. You're going to have to jump over the chasm in a vehicle. Jump the shark. Here we go. Jump the shark. Rex, I saw the whole thing through my scope. That was incredible. No, Doc. Paintings of crying clowns and dogs playing poker. Those are incredible. What I did, that's just a job. <laughs> Rex has a way with words. Yeah, what a man. Yeah. I, I like that driving section. It reminds me a little bit of the, you know, the end of Halo with the driving. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was the, maw. the maw. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking that too, oh. actually. Yeah, and actually, the first time I played it, when it's like, oh, you have to jump the thing, I was like, oh, sweet, there's gonna be a big jump like at the end of Halo, and then it just cutscenes, which is yeah. a little disappointing, but I like that he keeps stabbing and in injecting his robot arm. Well, yeah. <laughs> Where else would you inject it? <laughs> yeah, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Anyway, that's the end of the video. We'll see you guys next time.